and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Wednesday, August 29th, and we've got two guests today, some beautiful tomatoes and some news about stem cell research. It kind of goes hand in hand there. Let's start, first of all, Tim oh. Reinbot. Good to have you here, Hello, Tim. Bradford Farm, you're having your tomato fest. That's correct, on September 6th. A week from tomorrow. That's right. And you brought in beautiful tomatoes. Yes. And I am so, so jealous <laughs> of you. My tomatoes this year have just been a total flop. This oh, has man. been the worst garden I have had. You know, I, I, was, at, I was at the state fair a few weeks ago, and I had, had tomato uh, tasting there. Uh -huh. And that's why I either got, people said, the best garden I ever had or the worst garden. Yeah, no in-betweens. No, there was no, mm. but this was definitely the worst oh, garden. Oh, gosh. The heat, the heat was burning the blooms, and I had mm. it irrigated so mm -hmm. well. But then the deer and the raccoons, mm. and, and I can't fault them because there was a green oasis of a garden <laughs> there, and they were coming in, and they were having smorgasbord. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, I actually didn't get upset this year because uh, the critters needed something to eat. They did. They yeah. did. But let, let's let's okay. show these. And go to kbia.org uh -huh. and click on talk shows and then radio friends and look at these beautiful tomatoes. That's a brandy wine. Brandy wine. This is like the size of a golf mm -hmm. ball. I mean a <laughs> bowling ball. ball yeah. A bowling ball. This and, is the size of a bowling and ball. And they have it. This is a, this is an heirloom. Mm -hmm. If you have never tried an heirloom, brandy wine is the one to try. Uh -huh. It came comes from the 1880s, and it tastes wonderful. You should have saw the people's eyes when they were eating it. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's oh. different because it's got the rich tomatoey taste. Oh yeah, and this is so big. You make bacon, lettuce, tomato oh, sandwich. Yes. <laughs> it's one slice, and it's got the BLT. Compared to the more of a traditional tomato now that you can throw off the side of a wall, it bounces back. Oh, okay, but there's nothing like a tomato that comes from the garden. Oh no, these nothing. Are... And what what is this one? Persimmon. Okay, that's because it's the color of a uh -huh. persimmon. And it's got some blemishes on it, but those, are, again, are heirlooms, and that's what we get sometimes with our heirlooms. We don't get the perfection, but mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. taste is there. Yeah, and then you have one that has some black in Cherokee it. Cherokee purple. Oh. And those are actually my favorite. The, the dark, Cherokee purple. The black ones. And again, at the taste test, because once you cut them up, they're very dark inside. Mm -hmm. You can see the people's eyes light up. Wow. This oh. is really good. So how many, for you, the, the Tomato Fest is coming up next uh -huh. week. So how many, well, this isn't a tomato. This uh, is a pepper. Pe we have peppers there, too. <laughs> that's <laughs> ivory. That's, a, that's so pretty. I love oh, that that's color. beautiful pepper. Yeah. It, look, it, or, or an orange pepper. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. We've got 150 different varieties of tomatoes. Now, will all of them be, have ripe fruit next Thursday? I don't know. Because of the heat, and the, some yeah. have done great, and some not okay, so good. Okay, so what are you doing to keep those tomatoes looking so good? You know, we have not sprayed anything on ours this year. All we've done is watered and put down compost. And I have watered and composted, and mine are just totally burned up. And I did the, the soaker hoses. Really? They just did, just totally burned up. And what didn't burn up, the uh, as I said, the deer and the raccoon oh are taken goodness. care of. Oh, my goodness. But uh, let's, let's give the date and the time and the place. It's next Thursday. Uh -huh. Sept yeah, September 6th at the MU Bradford Farm okay. off Rangeline Road. And it's uh, what time? From 4 to 7.30. We'll, we'll have the tasting of tomatoes and peppers. We have... 14 restaurants bringing tomato dishes out, like oh. salsas. Oh. And, oh. Is and there any charge for this? Oh, it's free. It's All open free. To the open to the public. Okay. You can't beat that. No, you can't. <laughs> you can go out to eat your heart out. That's right. Tomatoes. That's right. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can come to that. It'll make me. And we'll have milk little... for the habaneros if you want to taste those. <laughs> okay. All right, Tim Reinbott. And uh, that's at Bradford Farm next Thursday, Thursday September the uh, 6th. Uh, 6th. That's okay. correct. Thank you so uh -huh. much for coming by. Okay. Now. Here, Margaret Tolleson, you're so excited about these tomatoes, oh, aren't you? How can you not be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going out there and pick some, aren't you? Well, an heirloom, too. I'm, yeah. I'm curious, and probably after the show, I'm going to ask you what you do with the heirloom seeds and, you know, things like that. Wow. But that's yeah. definitely beautiful. All right. Now, you're here at Missouri Cures. What yes. have you got for us today? I've got three things. The first is a breakthrough that, um, just as far as research goes, the FDA has announced or given approval for um, researchers out in California to actually study stem cell treatments with autistic children. Really? And so it's huge. I mean, anyone, uh, most people know that it takes a lot of hoops to jump through in order for the FDA to finally approve human clinical trials. And yeah. so finally, and as we know, one out of 88 people have autism. 
Um, and so this is huge that, you know, it's just beginning the trial, mm -hmm. but the beginning will lead to results. So I'm just real hopeful. So would you say this is the biggest news that you have had in a while? Well, I'm excited for it. I mean, you know, being on your show, we've discussed the breakthroughs as far as sickle cell anemia and um, different cancers and different, you know, you can go on down the line. And I've been, personally, I've been waiting to hear some good news about research being done on autism. Mm -hmm. Now, the, another reason I wanted to um, discuss with you today, we're putting on a free event in a couple of weeks. On September 16th, we're having an expert on um, Alzheimer's mm -hmm. come speak about stem cell, the updates regarding Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's is something that touches everybody. Okay. I think it's fair to say that people listening today or watching us on the internet know someone or have been touched in some way or another by Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease. My grandmother had Alzheimer's and she went out to Lenore, you know, when they first mm -hmm. opened up their Alzheimer's unit. And um, I've certainly been uh, personally interested in the breakthrough. So Dr. Russ Swerdlow is coming in from Kansas City. And that will be when? Sunday, um, September 16th at now, 2 p.m. Is this it's open, open to, the, to the, public? the public? and it's at P.S. Gallery, you know, Chris Stevens and Jennifer Perlow, mm -hmm. their art gallery, okay. uh, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, and it is free of charge. It's free. Now, if people want to go to your website, how much information is available on the website that you can do research? Um, a lot. Um, and getting better every day. I have a lot of requests, especially when schools are in session, for people, you know, students wanting to do their, their term paper and mm -hmm. things like that on um, stem cell research. Okay, so the website address is? MissouriCures.org. Missouri, www.missouricures.org. Our phone number for more information? 573-999-6847. Okay, all right. Margaret Tolleton, thank you so much for coming by. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Paul. Okay, and now eat your heart out with those wonderful oh, tomatoes that are looking over there. Oh, and the Tomato Fest is uh, next next Thursday September at 6th, Brant yes. yeah, Brantford Farm. We're out of time for today. Uh, tomorrow, Boondlick Folk Festival and the Capital Arts Jazz Festival is our topic. I want to remind you, our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Kyle Fellings from KBIA, filling in for Pat Akers, who's on vacation. Our flow director is Danny Madison, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Go to kbia.org, click on talk shows and radio friends, take a look at these tomatoes. All right, bye-bye.